Back here in our seashell back lot with the man with the ultimate green thumb, Tiger Palafox. Good morning. Good How you morning. doing? Did you enjoy the Charger Girl segment? I enjoyed the Charger Girl seg segment <laughs> and the G6 intro. <laughs> what are we flying high here today? I know. We're clubbing now here <laughs> yeah, at San Diego yeah. State. All right, so we're talking about winterizing our plants because obviously mid-September. Yeah, we're starting. I mean, not that we really had that warm of a summer to begin <laughs> with, but we are definitely feeling the temperatures drop a little bit. And now is the time really to get your plants ready for December, right? Right, right. You want to start preparing now. There's a couple of key things and we're going to start off and we're going to do them in order. Okay. So we're going to first talk about fertilizing. Mm -hmm. Fertilizing, this is your last opportunity to fertilize all of your deciduous trees, shrubs, and plants. So your rose bushes, your mm -hmm. fruit trees, all that stuff that loses its leaves in the wintertime. This is your last chance to fertilize it. So you want to make sure you get it in now. And are you saying, when you say fertilize, are we saying like take them actually out of the ground again and put new fertilizer in there? Or what do you mean by that? No. What we're going to do is we're just going to use like these organic bags down here mm -hmm. are EB Stone organic right. fertilizers. And they're wonderful for all of your shrubs and plants. They have a lot of nutrients in them that you just have to sprinkle around the base of the plant and then it gets watered in. Okay. Now, a critical plant that's coming up is the camellias. Mm -hmm. Camellias do not like to be fertilized when they're blooming and they bloom in the wintertime. So you want to fertilize them now before they bloom mm -hmm. so that way they get really good blossoms and good foliage throughout the winter. Got it. Okay, so we fertilize first. What's step two? Step two is going to be mulching. Mm -hmm. Now, I like to use a compost during this time of year. I don't like to use a bark or any kind of the material like that because it tends to be too heavy, retains too much moisture when it rains. So I recommend putting down a compost right around the base of the plant. Okay. Just just right around the, 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 the trunk right there. Don't put it up next to the trunk, but right around the base. You can create those wells, those reservoirs mm -hmm. to hold water in there. And the compost has great nutrients nutrients in it as well and has earthworm castings, which earthworm castings are wonderful for the root system during the winter time because it allows plants to resist shock, especially okay. if there's a frost or even during a Santa Ana mm. like we get in October sometimes. Well, see next month. I was just going to say that. <laughs> okay, so after we've done all that part to the soil, then it's, it's time to cut stuff back. Right? Yeah, right around the month of late December or into January, now it's time to start cutting back those plants, cutting back your roses, cutting back your fruit trees. You want to make sure you get your pruners nice and sharpened oh, and ready so to handy. go. You are ready you to gotta go. You got to have them ready, right? <laughs> you know, like a gunslinger out there in the garden. <laughs> all but right. You want to make sure to get your pruners and your tools all ready. So start thinking about that. And what you want to do when you remember cutting back plants is you don't cut them back to the height that you want it. So if you have a shrub or a hedge that's five feet tall and you want to keep it at five feet tall, you're going to cut it to like three or four feet tall. So that way when it grows, it comes up to five feet tall again. So you're not constantly cutting it back. Mm -hmm. And then the other part is you want to make sure to avoid any branches going in on each other mm -hmm. or just dead branches overall. Sometimes branches die throughout the year for no apparent reason. You want to make sure to remove those. That's just excess energy that the plant can use in producing flowers or fruit later on in the season. All right. So there's a lot of stuff to remember to do right now. There is. As far as if you're going to the nursery right now, let's say that you are, you know, you're done with your summer flowers, you're done with that stuff, you want to put something that looks a little bit more fall-like or winter-like, right. what do you recommend? What are things that people are getting right now? Flowers right now are mums, mm -hmm. pansies, and snapdragons. Those are all just coming into season right now. As well, like I mentioned, camellias, they're about to bloom. So some of the later varieties will bloom in December, some of the earlier varieties will bloom in October. Mm -hmm. So camellias are a wonderful plant. And then you just want to think about what else has fall color. We've got pumpkins and things like that for decoration. but that can really spruce up your garden. And today, we're actually having a class on winterizing your garden. So you can come in and some of the tips that we talked about right now, take yeah. them into more depth. Perfect. They can actually, you know, cut back on everything. They can see the right level and everything else. All right, exactly. Tiger, thank you so much for coming in. Always yeah. a pleasure to have you in here. Winterizing your plans. If you'd like more information, go to Tiger's class today. You can go to our website right now, sandiego6.com, and click on Hot Topics.